be making bases. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment on the video, all that fun jazz. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks when it comes to arranging your beats in Logic Pro 10. And specifically, I'm going to show you a quick way to do it in 10 minutes or less. All right, so we have this beat here. The first thing we're going to want to do is just actually listen to what we have. And uh, as you can see, there's eight tracks here. So this is what the beat is. Okay, bet. So that's what we're going to be working with. If you're new to music production, when I say arranging the beat, basically what I'm going to be doing is taking these loops or these different parts of this loop and then turn it into song format. All right. So the first thing you want to do is listen to what you have and see what will work well for what part of the song. So for me, I noticed that this synth sound, this is going to be what coming in during the hook. Okay. So like if this wasn't going on, if I just turned that off, this could work for, for verses. So like, let me just turn it off and then turn on nothing but the bass and like drums. If you listen to it and see how it has kind of a good vibe for the verse. And then what we could do is to start adding more instruments as the verse goes. So I can add this. Still verse part. And then I can add this to even come on and bring it up to another level in the verse as well. Cool. So. Basically, after you figure out which parts are going to go for the song, you're going to want to take your uh, loop, highlight it, move your cursor over, and then copy and paste it on over for several different measures, man. I just go over here like this and then, and then come down to beat and time, and then I see if it's long enough. Technically, that's long enough in today's music. I mean, we, we do kind of shorter songs nowadays, so I'm going to just leave it around here, and then I'm going to come over here to the end, to the beginning by pushing enter. Now we have um, all of our loops kind of like dragged all the way out to the um, to, to, to a length of a song. Now the quickest way to do this is this. We're going to come over here, click this guy right here. And what you're going to see here is that at the very top, there's something called arrangement. And obviously, all you got to do is just click this uh, plus sign and it's going to give you some different uh, parts of the song that you can go with. So. We can do an eight bar intro or a four bar intro. We'll go ahead and do an eight bar intro. We'll go, go ahead and go straight to the chorus and then we're gonna do a verse. And you know, verses are 16 bars, so you can just keep on clicking this and changing it to what you need it to be. All right, so we got a, a eight bar intro, we have an eight bar chorus, and then we have a 16, okay? And then pretty much you wanna keep on repeating that. All right, we got the chorus again. We're gonna go ahead and go with a, uh, a verse again okay another chorus and then you could throw in like a little bridge part where you kind of do a little something different on the beat okay so we'll do another part do a 16 on the bridge and then we'll go chorus and then we're gonna do an outro all right you saw how I did that it's pretty simple I just pushed this guy down here like this and then it's mapped out how I want my beat to go and then from there, all I'm going to do is just take the uh, loop over here and just drag it out to each section of the song. And then we'll just come in and we can either delete or mute out the different parts to make it work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the parts that I want to take off and I'm just going to push control M and that's going to mute it right here within the uh, control or the workspace window. And then so we can just kind of since we had a loop on it, play it back and forth until we get an intro that we like. So. Let me just start it off like this and see if we like it. And that's perfect. Now, as you can see, like when I was going ahead and letting this beat play, I was I noticed I needed to bring in another sound. So what I did is I highlighted the sound, I pushed down control and pushed M. And what that's gonna do is mute or unmute this stuff right here in, or the tracks right here in the uh, workspace. Now, obviously you can also go ahead and delete it too, but the reason why I like to mute it is because, um, say if I need to make a change to it, I can make it to it. So like I, instead of having to repeat or right, copy and paste it again or whatever, I can just unmute it and now we have a section that we want. 
All right, so we got the intro. You know the chorus is gonna be everything, okay? So now let's go ahead and work on the, ver the verses. Um, for the verses, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and take out um, pretty much everything except for the bass. And maybe the clap, maybe a clap. And you kind of see, see how I'm building it now. So basically, you just want to add more to the to the verse as it goes. You know what I mean? Don't just have everything going so crazy let it build up okay so now we're going to go ahead and um, bring in the drums on this part and then right here before the hook comes back in i'm going to bring this lead part back in so let's check it out all right cool so now we have our verse and we have our cook our hook now that we have our verse, what we can do instead of going through the process of deleting everything and all that, what I can do is come over here and delete this second verse and just copy and paste this verse to this second part right here. So we'll put it right here. I'm gonna press Command C, Command V, and it's gonna paste it. All right, so now we got that, and now we just gotta work on the bridge. So for the bridge, you want to do some type of variation from this uh, verse. So what I could do is, is instead of, oh yeah, the verse is over here. I can go ahead and take off the, the drums and the main part for the hook. And maybe instead of the bell synth right here, I'll let this part play. So like this would be the bridge. cool last thing we got to do is now do the outro again take your loop put it right over the outro and usually for that i just take out all the drums and just kind of have it really the same as the intro but just like reversed or backwards so for instance like you see this part right here that's coming in right before the hook so i'm just going to bring that part right there and then it's coming out right here so it's reversed so now we have a song that's pretty much tracked out the way it needs to be, or excuse me, arranged the way it needs to be. There's some, a couple other things that you're gonna wanna do though, right? So let's talk about transitions. The simplest way to do a transition is to basically either cut the beat out for a complete measure and then add like some type of transitional sound. Um, well, I was gonna say, yeah, that's pretty much the way to do it. So let's just listen to this and we'll just see what we're gonna cut out. Okay, and so what you want to do, you want to do a combination of that next. So we'll just go right before each hook and we're going to take out a, a measure, okay? Especially with the drums. Really, usually once you got the verses, you can just take the um, drums out and that works fine. But we'll go ahead and do the same thing we did for the, um, we'll do the same thing we did for the intro. We'll just take that out and we're going to just leave the bass playing for that last little measure, okay? And if you don't want to keep doing this, all you can do is copy and paste it. Copy. I can come over here right before the hook, delete this, put the uh, cursor right here, paste that joint. Easy peasy, right? Um, but pretty much it's simple. Just take it like that and then we're good. All right, cool. So now we have our transitions. Now we just need some transitional sounds. So this is where we're gonna have to actually go back into the program, go to software instrument. Uh, we'll go default patch. Push create, 
and then we're gonna go over here to our sounds and I'm just gonna say rise what rise is gonna do is pull up all of our transitional risers so I'll just pick one of these um, randomly we'll just do uh, let's say this strobe riser okay and that's what you want to do is play that one measure before um, each section so let's just come over here I'm gonna push the uh, metronome on and everything and we're gonna push record and record that Okay, and if you wanted to, you could actually make that go a little bit before, so maybe make it go at seven, um, or you know, two bars before. Let's see. So I kind of like it like that, more dragged out. And all all you have to do is after you do it on one, you can just take it and move it over to each part where you're gonna need to do the transition. So you can kind of see where we cut out everything. Just put it over there right there and right there and all i'm doing is holding down option and dragging it over and then letting it go and voila there you go now the only other things you i would probably worry about doing is maybe on this bridge you can add another sound just to kind of make it you know truly a bridge part so let's just listen to the bridge a little bit all right cool so we're gonna just add another track do a default patch and Sometimes guitars are good to go on um, on bridges and everything, but really, since this is like more of a crunk hip hop beat, we're gonna go with a synth synthesizer. So I go here. We'll go get with a lead, and we'll pick some type of lead sound. So we'll just pick up a simple melody, go ahead and lay that down, let's say. So we have a little bridge part there. We'll turn this down a little bit, and now let's listen to it. I'm gonna listen to some of the chorus, and we'll go into the bridge here. We'll come right there. Now, if I'm really gonna give you some tips and tricks, um, something else that I usually do is like whatever instrument is playing all the way throughout here, usually like they say this uh, bass actually happens to be the thing that is. And so what I can do is I can come over here to the bass and go down to multi effects, go to remix effect, click that. And then what I'll do is I'll basically kind of remix that bass up or remix one of the um, instruments up. And um, how do we record that is come over here to where you see your automation section and it's go to touch. And now anything we touch right here or effect right here is going to be recorded onto the track. So I'll give you an example of what we'll do. 
And you don't have to even record, you just push play and then whatever you do is gonna it's gonna do it. So check it out. And then you just do little stuff like that. Basically, if you kind of paid attention, I was basically taking this and making it like a DJ stop. Okay, so let's listen to it again. You'll see that it's recorded. All right, and then basically what I would do is this every eight bars, I would do something like that, something cool like that um, using the remix mix effect. So like, for instance, this is about to go into another eight bars. Let's listen to it. And all right, we can go to this eight bars, do another like um, tape stop. kind of keep doing that same thing And after you do some things like that, you know, pretty much you're ready to go. So that's pretty much the video, y'all. That's how you track out your beats. That's how you track them out and some tips and tricks you can use and do it all with stock plugins and what's right here within uh, Logic Pro 10. So appreciate y'all watching. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll let you in the next one.